Hey, this is Golf Machine from Millennium TV. I'm here with the rabbi uh, dealing with the issue in Gaza yes. and Israel. Could you explain, give me your name and what you're here about? Uh, with the help of the Almighty, uh, we are Nature Kat, the Jews United Against Zionism, and we are here by in front of the United Nations because uh, Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, is speaking here today, and uh, his speech is that he tries to present himself as the representative of Judaism and the Jewish people, and both of that is patently false. He is the representative of the Satan, not of Judaism. Judaism is a religion of 3,000 years, and we are forbidden since the uh, destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago to reestablish any Jewish sovereignty. Judaism is a, is a covenant we made 3,000 years ago to be subservient to God. Zionism is a movement of 140 years simply a, a, a transformation to nationalism. It's an ersatz Judaism. They are totally ignoring that command of God not to make a Jewish sovereignty since the destruction of the temple. They are totally ignoring the commands of God that we're not to kill or to steal. They are totally ignoring all the voices of the sages, all the rabbinical authorities at the time of its inception of Zionism who said this is scandalous, this is criminal. We are not this nationalist movement that you claim to be. And I carry around the pictures. We show Theodor Herzl by the Declaration of Independence in 1948. You can see this is a historical moment. Theodor Herzl, you see here's Theodor Herzl, you see Ben David Ben Gurion standing there reading the Declaration of Independence in 1948. The picture of Theodor Herzl there, Stars of David on the wall, and they're making on the dais, you don't see. Maybe there's somebody covering his head, but you don't see it. A Jew has to cover his head if you, to show that he believes in God. You don't see rabbis here. If it would be a Muslim state, you would have imams, sheikhs. If it would be a Christian state, you would have uh, priests. So you can see the farce. This is not a Jewish state. This is a nationalist movement that simply, for their convenience, they're using the facade, they're masquerading in Judaism. They're using my identity, the Star of David, in the name Israel, in order to silence, to intimidate, that if anybody stands up against their occupation, they'll accuse them of being anti-Semitic. So that's why we're here, to plead with the world leaders. They should not be intimidated. Just like apartheid was for so many tens of years recognized as a legitimate government system and because of the grassroots people made their leaders uncomfortable, it was finally stopped. And today, nobody would create an apartheid state. It is so clearly criminal. The same thing is with Israel. It's 76 years it was ratified by the state, by, I'm sorry, by the United Nations. But it has no legitimacy. It's a simple occupation. They're waving the Bible and saying that God gave it to them. That's patently false. As I say, the Torah does not permit to take, to steal, or to kill, or to have a Jewish state. And you can go to any very religious community, the most religious around the world, whether it is in Jerusalem or it is in the United States. So here. you have some things to show us here. Yeah, you can see here, you can see the tens of thousands of Jews demonstrating in Jerusalem. These are the very religious. You can see the chief rabbi of Palestine pleading with the United Nations in 1947 where he's stating we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine that was the chief rabbi of Palestine and he was ignored he was ignored by the by the United Nations it's in their documents and they accepted to, to, to create a state of Israel we will not accept it and we are pleading with the United Nations and the leaders that they should do not abrogate the, 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 the responsibility that was given to you as world leaders. You must stop this injustice, the slaughter of the people of Gaza, of Palestine, and the incursion into Lebanon. It cannot go on. It's purely criminal. And the voices of the people around the world who are, who are, uh, uh, who are protesting, they're not anti-Semitic. The state of Israel is anti-Semitic. They have caused hate of Jews. They have caused the death 
of 76 years of Jews in order to establish their state. They are the anti-Semites. They've caused a rift between Jews and Muslims around the world. They are exacerbating anti-Semitism and they are nullifying the value of the word anti-Semitism because we always knew there was a red line. If somebody would attack or uh, somehow uh, act unjustly to a Jewish person, it's like racism. Everybody understood that's wrong. And they would say he's doing an anti-Semitic act. But now that the Zionists with impunity do what they're doing, injustice, and people yell anti-Semitism, and, and everybody's quiet. And, 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 and if anybody says a word against them, they call them anti-Semitic. Yes. So now, if somebody, God forbid, does an action against a Jew, a real anti-Semitic action, and the Jews are going to say, that's anti-Semitic, everybody will laugh. It's the boy who cried wolf. Yes. Yes. They'll say, eh, anti-Semitic, we know what it's all about. It's a yes. joke. Because yes. look what Zionism is doing. Yes. So finally, give me your name or your, your title. My name is Rabbi Yisrael David Weiss of Nature Kart International, Jews United Against Zionism. All right. Thank you very much for this Thank interview. You. Thank you. Again, this is Garth Mashan for Millennium 24 News here at the United Nations Plaza with the rabbis and the thing uh, demonstrating against Netanyahu and against the genocide in Gaza. Thank you.